Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm Noah from TechnoBuffalo.com and I'm here with uh, what might be my favorite tablet. I know <laughs> some of you are going to be like, what are you talking about? But uh, the little Nook Color, the little the e-reader little e that could, is now all grown up and it's a, uh, it's a baby Android tablet for reals. Um, if you've been following the Nook Color, if you played with one, if you uh, watched my videos, read my posts, whatever, you know that this thing has been Android based from the start. Uh, and has been able to run ports of Android, various flavors of Android 2 and also Android 3.0. Uh, you know, unofficial for, uh, ports not supported by Barnes & Noble, etc., etc., but ports you could run off of the micro SD card. Now, Barnes & Noble has gone ahead and started pushing out the long-awaited release to make this thing an official Froyo tablet, 2.2. The tech heads out there, the hardcore geeks, might be thinking like, well, so what, man? 2.2, that's yesterday's news. I want, I want Honeycomb. I want 3.1. Forget 3.0. But uh, I'll tell you what. For people who want a cheap tablet that's also an e-reader, that's also a tablet that's an e-reader that has books and magazines and email and web and apps and Angry Birds and Uno HD and all that stuff, this thing, I, I already thought it was a really good value. It just got even better. The uh, official update from Barnes & Noble is being pushed out over the air over the next couple of weeks, I guess. But you can download it now if you're in a hurry like I am. I installed it. I've been playing with it. I played some Uno. I played some Angry Birds. I watched some video online. Let's take a look. Alright, so basically what you've got is a 7-inch tablet uh, tablet computer, Android based, and with the new uh, Barnes & Noble firmware, it's uh, based on Android 2.2, but it's still got a very customized user interface. And uh, what I really like about this is that, you know, Barnes & Noble, they, they took the Android base, they made the user interface really attractive, really easy to use, and very purpose driven. So it started out as an e-reader, a color e-reader, made for books, made for magazines, and it had a little bit of extra functionality. They threw in the web, they threw in Sudoku, stuff like that. Now, what you've got, you've still got this very simple user interface. It's all based off of this little menu at the bottom. Uh, you've got the home button. That's really the only button. Um, you can check out. I did a full review if you want to know more about the specs and all that. Basically, you've got a home button, and then you've got the rest is touch screen. And then you've got um, this one little menu here in the bottom. And so it pops up, and now you've got apps. So we go to apps, and I have installed uh, two apps in addition to the ones that came uh, preloaded with the new update. I installed Angry Birds, I installed Uno HD. HD. And you can see I don't, have, I don't have proper icons for those, and I have to find out if that's a, a, um, an issue with the developers or a bug in the firmware or what's going on. But now we've also got email, we've also got contact. So if I go to email, if I go to email, you can see I've got support for multiple accounts. Uh, I'm not going to show you my account there, but I can easily set up an account, uh, I set up a Gmail account, no problem. I set up uh, my company email, no problem. Uh, you know, if you're trying to do stuff with uh, Exchange servers, it's got a little, you know, a little extra for you, but it's very easy to set up. Again, it's Android based. And uh, here's here's some, um, some email I got, a, kind of a junk mail advertisement. And you can see it's, it's very, you know, it's very Android based. Uh, for some reason, these images aren't showing in this email, I'm not sure why. Uh, the pinch and zoom, not working in email, but it does support pinch and zoom in the web browser. Basically, you've got, you know, uh, kind of used to Android, the reply, the move to, the delete, kind of a customized version of Android, uh, like everything else, but very simple to use. You can scroll through, you know, go go through your inbox. This way, you can go back to your inbox, that kind of thing. I can add value mags as a contact if I want to, which I really do not want to. I can hit reply. I can reply. In email, I cannot rotate, which is too bad, but I can at least reply this way. The on-screen keyboard works pretty well. And there you go. I've got contacts set up, so I can add a, a contact. And so, ah, there's my boy, my old friend Aaron. Look at that hair. And so uh, I've got my contacts linked to a Google account, so no problem. And you can see here, if I go to all contacts, Nook Friends is a new thing that Barnes & Noble introduced where uh, you can invite people to be your Nook friends, you can share books with them, that kind of stuff. Just set it up. I don't have any Nook friends yet, so I'll update to you on that if it's worth updating. I can add contacts manually. I can invite them as Nook friends. There you go. So we'll get out of this. We'll go back. 
go back to the uh, the home screen there. Go back to apps and discover more Nook apps is really the big thing here. The app shop, it's Barnes & Noble's own app shop. They're Android apps, but they, they are uh, have to be built to run on Nook Color, optimized for Nook Color. So they have to meet uh, specific requirements, uh, not just regular Android requirements, but specific ones uh, for this device. Uh, and right now you've got 137 apps, which is not that many, but again, you know, this isn't this isn't a, a, a generic Android tablet. This is a specific thing that's sold, you know, a couple million, three million units, I believe, and um, as an e-reader. And so this is all just bonus for the people who already have it. And it's sort of a, a play, Barnes and Noble kind of, you know, testing the water, seeing uh, do people want apps on this thing? Do people want email. They've been requesting that. They wanted better. Uh, better web browsing and, and contacts and stuff, but do they want Uno HD? Do they want Epicurious Recipes and Shopping List? I would imagine they probably want that. Uh, buying something is easy. Uh, I don't have a Google account set up on here in terms of credit card information and stuff. It's just my my Barnes & Noble account the same way that I buy um, that I buy books and magazines. So if I wanted to buy Flight Control, I just hit Buy. There we go. There's your overview, customer reviews, <laughs> Poor response, slow. I'm just laughing because I wasn't expecting that. It's just kind of funny. Screenshots, more like this. I could add to a wish list. I could recommend it. Uh, the customer reviews have deterred me, so I'm going to click off. And uh, there you go. Uh, I was searching for L because there was uh, an interactive book in the PR email I got. Uh, L Magazine's Workout Yoga with Brooklyn Decker. I wanted to check it out, but uh, it's not there. Not there yet, so anyway. Uh, let's see. We'll go back. And so to go back, um, different ways to get around. You can just browse. You can hit the uh, the end button to go back. Go back to apps here, and we'll look at some of my apps. I've got Angry Birds installed. So let's look at Angry Birds. How it runs on this thing. <laughs> 